This is the 217 Recovery Podcast with Corey Winfield. You have a rich person's name. Like, you should be a billionaire with the name Winfield. And co-host Marnie Winfield. Checking the microphone. It's going good. It is the 22nd of July, 2021. My name is Corey Winfield. My name is Marnie Winfield. And this is the 217 Recovery Podcast. Today, Marnie, I did the second promo video for the Recovery Zone Rally, which is coming up on Saturday in Pawpaw, Michigan. I saw it. And looking at some of the other guys' promos, like, I'm I'm a diva, I guess. And actually, Tyrone called me a diva. And after the Recovery Zone Rally, I might put together that, that video that never made it. You will? Maybe. Okay. Because it's, it's a little silly. He calls me a diva. Because mm-hmm. I was talking about well, who's going to do my makeup mm-hmm. for the video because I wanted the video to be very professional looking. And I don't know, maybe I am. So I was like, the other guys are just like, oh, you want a video? Yeah, let me, let me give it to you. Psh, hey, what's up? You know, this is Adam and blah, blah, blah. I'll be here, man. Come out. Yeah, my Myra's going to be there. It'll be a good time. Not me. Nope. I, I got to put it through like editing and. I mean, I didn't really do too much editing, but I just, I had like a little intro with, you know, 217 and some cool cars. So that was a driving picture that I took years ago, driving by, I snapped it. It's pretty cool. You oh. definitely put your all into it for sure. Yeah. And I think it's maybe, it, I don't know, maybe it's not diva. Maybe I'm not using the right term. Maybe I am. I'm not sure, but it's like, I want it to be pretty. I want it to like, I don't know. Oh, you do a you do a good job on your stuff. I mean, maybe other people have other stuff to do, right? And it's I think it's kind of cool. I mean, you know, people are just putting stuff out there that's just you know off the cuff and giving people the info that they need, and it's what works for them. So, plus they don't probably maybe have the means to do the kind of editing computer savvy beautifulness that you do. I don't know. I mean, it's not. I don't think it's that beautiful. You know what I mean? I I try, but yeah. So I was watching the other guys' video and then I come across this and I thought, what the hell, man? How am I going to compete with it? And if you haven't seen the video, because Drew Hicks, he's from Warsaw. So he's kind of like a neighbor. Mm -hmm. You know, he's, he's down there in Indiana. So I'm like, oh, he's a neighbor. So I feel like there's a little bond already and a little like rival, not like sibling rivalry, mm-hmm. neighbor rivalry where I'm like, well, well if Drew can do it. Well, so then Drew throws this up there and I'm like, dude, how am I supposed to compete with that, man? But and Drew does tons of videos. So this is nothing new to him, but yeah, he, he comes right at it, man. So here, here, I'll, I'll play it for you. Hey everybody, Drew Hicks here with my gorgeous little girl Peyton. Uh, where are we going to be next weekend? Papa, Michigan. How the hell am I going to compete with that? <laughs> right? His daughter's cute too, man, and and they're just out in Indiana in the field somewhere, you know. And I was like, dude, for real, man. Yeah, you got to give him total props. Oh for hell just throwing yeah, that together, you know. Oh oh it, oh, it gets way better. Oh, I know. I've I've seen it. Yeah. Well, I'm going to play the rest of it, okay. and then I'll I'll shut up. I'm going to play the rest of it. Pawpaw, Michigan, is that true? Mm -hmm. That's right. We're going to be in Pawpaw, Michigan at the Recovery Rally 2021. And there's going to be some amazing people there, like Adam Vibe Gutton. I love Adam. How about Jonathan and Myra from Chicago Hope Dealers? I love Jonathan and Myra. Amazing. How about Bambi? I do love Bambi. Hey, we're going to be up there this weekend with these amazing people, as well as Aaron Spaulding and many, many more. A huge shout out to the Recovery Zone, who is the sponsor of this event. Once again, we love the people of Paw Paw, Michigan. Any chance that me or my family can get up there and be a part of such an amazing, amazing recovery community, I'm definitely on board. So we're looking forward to seeing you guys next weekend, July 24th, Recovery Rally 2021 in Paw Paw, Michigan. You don't want to miss this one. What do you think? You ready? You can get on stage and share a message of hope with Daddy? Yeah. Amen to that. We love you guys. We'll see you next weekend. So I got a question, though, for real. 
All right, turn that off. So, <laughs> do you think he really loves Papa Michigan? Sure. I want to make him a shirt. Okay. <laughs> it says I love Papa Michigan. No, I mean it, that's that's where this thing's one. gonna is gonna be. I don't. Mm-hmm. I've never been to Papa. I love Papa. Make me a shirt too. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know that you love Papa. Well, I mean, I think it's because the event's gonna be there, and that's really sweet that they're actually like having this go on. It just happens to be there, so. Therefore, we love Papa. Yes, we do love Papa. No, I have nothing against Papa. I was just saying that. Just to yeah, that's like your old Try to start ground. beef. Uh, <laughs> Not really, though. No, I, I really can't wait to meet everybody, man. It's going to be awesome. I did my video today. If you want to go see it, it's on the app. We just sent out a notification. And then it's on the Facebook. The website is on the website. But it is on the app. But... Yeah, I, I did compete with them. I don't think I could. I mean, I did all I could do. You can't compete with that. That yeah. was that was brilliant by Drew, and it was very cute too, man. And and that's that's a good way to to make a little promo video. And Drew knows what he's doing, man. And that was awesome. But I I just have my cat. I just have my. I just you just have, gotta work with what you got. Yeah, and I did, you know. And you know, and she was in here in the office. She likes to hang out with Daddy, and I was like Nico, and then. And she just looked at you. Looked at me like, what's up? I yeah. was like, thank you. I mean, she can't talk like a child. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, she talks, but it's just kitty stuff. I mean, a lot of people don't understand it. I do. Right. You're, you're learning. Mm-hmm. But, no, nah, it, it, was, it was funny, though, kind of in that way. And then, like, when I was watching the video back, instead of saying our people, I said our people. Mm-hmm. It's our people. <laughs> I was like, am I a pirate or something? Mm-hmm. So I, I took a little shot at myself in there as well. I was like, oh. yeah. Because I think the last video I did, I messed up Shine Effect. Mm-hmm. I think I messed up their name, which I just, it's like, oh, nobody will notice. Yeah, but I think the other but thing. Shine is, Effect noticed. I'm sure they <laughs> did. It was this guy. The thing I think that's important, too, is that you have fun doing this stuff. I do. It brings you joy. Mm-hmm, it does. And I think that's even more important than the message itself is because you're it's something that's healthy and, you know, that is fun for you and it's good for you and your recovery. You know, that's a good point, Marnie. Thank you. Because I, I've been stressing. And that was like a, well, let me just take a mental break and do something fun. You know, and... It was fun, and I, I do enjoy that. And I think that's at the time. I don't think that's why I did it. I just thought I should make another video. And maybe, maybe it was. Maybe that my brain was telling me, Corey, you need to like decompress here for a minute. And mm-hmm. how about you do something fun and, and productive at the same time? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, good job. Thanks. <laughs> no problem. So I'm supposed to see my therapist on Monday, but I don't think I need you now because oh, I have you. Oh, no, no, no. I have you in a couple of three a half hour car rides. Yeah, right. So just don't be sleeping on me. No, tomorrow, and you have kind of a big day tomorrow too. You're going to go down, you're going to meet some cool people, and then we're going to go to Skywood Recovery. You've never been there. Never been. No, it's just outside of Kalamazoo and Battle Creek. It's kind of like split north in the middle almost and... Mm-hmm. It's called Augusta. Yep. That's the city it's in. And it's on a golf course. It's private pay insurance. But Chris Goss and I went there and we toured it. And it was amazing. But it was in the winter. Mm-hmm. You know, so I'm really interested to see how, how it looks in, in the summer. Yeah. I think it's always great to be able, if you have the opportunity, to see other facilities. Oh, yeah. You know, just to see what they're about, to see, you know, what things look like. And, and hopefully get it, uh, you know, when you say like a guided tour where they can give you a little bit of the back, um, behind the scenes stuff. Mm-hmm. You know, not so much, at the, obviously, with the clients, but, yeah. <laughs> Are you going to freak out after walking and someone's like, hey, Corey, hey, Marty. Right. And we look over and we're like, oh, Jesus. <laughs> like, dude. Mm-hmm. Wouldn't be the end of the world, but yeah. No, I'd be like, hey, man, at least, at least you're here. Mm-hmm. You know, at least, at least you're here, man. Uh, don't stop giving up. I think I might talk about that a little bit when I do my little speech on Saturday at the rally. So we decided I'm going to videotape it. You are? Yeah. Okay. 
So. Well, good. How, you got a video camera? No, oh, you know what I mean? Just gonna. Oh, do the phone? Yeah. All right. So, what if I cry? Will you edit that? No. Now, are you going to like do like Facebook Live or are you just going to actually record video onto your phone? What do you want me to do? I don't know. Nothing. <laughs> I'll be like there. I'll be living it. So I know. Uh, yeah, come out though. It will be a good time. If you're in recovery, have a family members in recovery, maybe you're the family member of someone who's in recovery, come out, you know, and I know people in early recovery, not all of them. So I can't really say that, but. If if somebody, this is what I'll say, if somebody is saying, no, I'm not going to do that stupid stuff, man. Those people are, uh, well, don't make them go. No. But maybe tell them about the million dollar money drop that's not happening. But you don't have to tell them it's not happening. Mm, you can just leave that part false out. Advertisement, but. Well, not if you're trying to get somebody to go there. And then mm-hmm. you can just, well, they've, they've done this to you, you know, well, I just, I left that part out. <laughs> like when I would use, like if somebody, like my mom would give me 20 bucks and said, don't use this for gas. I'm like, okay. Or don't use that for liquor. I would just go, okay. I would give the 20 to the clerk and say, okay, I, I need that in my gas tank. And then I would use my secret account, my savings account. And then I would buy liquor. Which I wouldn't have been able to do because I would have had to use every single penny that I had in my savings account to put in the gas tank, but I didn't have to. So it's kind of the same thing. So if they've done that to you, hey, eye for an eye, right? I don't know. I thought kidding. we didn't live like that anymore. We don't. That's so why I said just kidding. Okay. Just kidding, sort of. Just, I'm just saying, just if, if they don't want to go, man, don't make them, but they'll be missing out. It'll be a good time. Yeah. It's a for, it's basically for anyone. That supports recovery mm-hmm. in any way, shape, or form. I mean, if it's yourself in recovery, if it's a spouse, family member, daughter, son, parent, um, friend, everyone's welcome. And a little backstory on Jewel Daly. She's the one who started the, the whole thing. And the recovery zone is a place for people in Pawpaw who need meetings because... Mm-hmm. In 2019, in May, just a month or two after we started this, a month after we started 217 Recovery, she started her thing, and she realized, you know what? We need places for people to go. We need a place for people to go. So she ended up busting her butt, very similar to me. She put together her own 501c3, which is not easy. A lot of paperwork, a lot of T's, I's, crossing, Mm -hmm. dotting, and they got their 501c3 to become a nonprofit, you know, so do we. And then she just started running with it. You know, there's people out there that just sit around and, and I guess the world needs those, needs those people too, but they just sit and man, wish we did this, or I wish we had a place to go for a meeting, you know? And then there's other people in the world that are like, well, I wish I had a place to go for a meeting. Uh, how about we do something about that? Mm-hmm. You know, let's, Let's act on Let's All right. Well, sometimes you got to get off your ass and do it yourself. And I really respect you. I can't wait to meet her. And that's, and, and for her to put this thing together is ballsy. And it was supposed to be last year. Of course, COVID happened and it probably helped her out a lot. Really? Right. You know, cause more time. yeah. And it, it, cause it doesn't feel like it is the first one, but it doesn't feel like the first one. Mm-hmm. You know, we've talked about it. We were so excited for it last year and oh, it couldn't happen. And, I was very upset and very disappointed. But this year, you know, and it's probably a good thing for us too. I mean, we've got a couple hundred more podcasts on our belt and not that that really mattered, but the the stuff that we had, the stuff we're bringing is a lot cooler than what it would have been last year. Oh, by a million. You know, we have hats. We're going we're gonna to sell them or donation them or whatever you want to call it. But... You know, we have some pretty cool swag we're bringing with us. We have some free stuff we're giving away. We have name tags, which are, they were a hit the other places we've been. So it'll be pretty cool. And we'll be doing our podcast from there live. Got some comfy chairs. Yeah. Candy. We might have candy. 
That just came out of nowhere. Have you been thinking about that? No. Well, I thought about it today when I realized before we used to have candy and that was always fun. Uh. But I think it's because I'm on the whole diet thing mm. or I'm sorry, eating healthy thing, mm-hmm. which by the way, down another pound or two maybe, but I don't know. I think in July so far I've lost like eight pounds, which doesn't seem like a lot, but no, it's a lot. 34 pounds, 33 pounds, 34 pounds since like the end of May. Mm-hmm. Or no. Yeah, you've been at it for a minute. <sighs> By Christmas, I'll be at my, your weight that you want me at probably. Mm-hmm. And that's fine. You know, that's that's the thing of it. I'm seeing results. And we talked about this, I think, in a podcast a few weeks ago. I see the results, so it's worth it. You know, but when, when people are in early recovery and they hit the wall, and they feel like nothing's changing. They're going through the motions. They, they're stuck in the same job. They have the same problems happening. It's just the same old, same old. And they're hitting that wall and they're stuck in that rut. They're not seeing the res- those results. So right. boom. You know, but at least with eating healthy, you're like, hey, when you're so unhealthy, <laughs> you really see them. And the other thing that you're learning, the lesson that you're realizing is that is patience. Because things yeah. don't happen overnight. And and it takes work, right? And diligence. Dedication. Dedication. Wow, are we talking about eating healthier or are we talking about recovery? Both. It's the same thing. It's I mental. Know it. It's our mind, man. Mm-hmm. It's our mind. It's hard. I'm not going to lie. I ate some ice cream tonight. I looked yeah. at you and I was like, I don't think I should do it because I haven't had real ice cream in, I don't know, since the end of May. Yeah. And I was like, I'm af- I was afraid to take that first bite because <laughs> mm-hmm. I, I figured I'd be like, man, after this, we're going to go straight to Dairy Queen. But but for real, though, when I would be on trips, I'd be taking the people to and from treatment. And I'd be like, all right, I wouldn't pack a lunch or anything. And I thought, man, I'm, I'm good. I can just roll with this. And then I would hit a gas station and I would go in. And I would come out with like six king size candy no, bars. Oh my, and God. I would just rah, 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 just like it was alcohol. Mm-hmm. You know, and then I would sit there and look at the rappers, and I would feel ashamed, and I wanted to text you to tell you I'm sorry. Like, <laughs> no, you, I, but it was it was ridiculous though, and I'm just looking. I'm going this in the, like this is the same thing, man. It's like the whole sugar thing, and you know, because because it, it makes me happy. You know, when you eat something that tastes good. It, when I eat pizza, I get happy. You know, when I when I eat things, it makes me happy. And when I drank, it didn't necessarily make me happy, but it made my brain like zone out where I wasn't so, hmm, I don't want to say unhappy. I wasn't so frustrated or Because you sad. weren't there, that's why. Right, yeah, exactly. And yeah, it wasn't making me feel good. It just was zoning me out. And oh, I'm glad I don't have to live that way anymore. Mm-hmm. But yeah, so I might talk a little bit about hope and, you know, just for the new people that are just coming into it, man, like it's worth it. People told me that. And I'm sure people have been saying that for years, Yeah, you know, but it it's so worth it in life. Like, wow, I can't even imagine. I, I had no idea how good life could be. Like in my wildest dreams, if you'd have told me, Hey Corey, this is what you're going to be doing. This is <laughs> okay, man. Mm-hmm. You know, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have believed you. You'd be married. What? Nobody wants me. I'm a I'm alcoholic, you know. I'm a drunk. Nobody wants me. I'm well, a, I mean, when you were that, maybe that was the case. No, nah, that, that was still a couple that wanted me, but I'm oh. <laughs> just kidding. But no, the the inside thoughts of myself, you know, weren't good about myself. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I and understand that. I just felt nobody wanted. And that's the thing about addiction, too, is... You beat yourself up so many times and and sometimes people will tell you that you're worthless and they think that's going to motivate you and it never motivated me. Mm -mm. I had a therapist guy, I've talked about this on the podcast before, but he came in to the hospital and just started cussing at me like up and down like, you MF or what? (laughs) You know, and I'm just like, not sure what you're trying to accomplish there, but I think you did the opposite. And I'm sh- quite sure I was very frustrating to many, many people because 
I would say the right things because at the time when I was saying them, I really believed them. I really wanted it. And they're just like, man, this dude just talks game. Like he's just talking all about it. But finally put it all together and actually started doing something about it. And you're right, Marnie, that's, you got to actually put in the work, mm-hmm. you know, and if people are afraid of the work. I, I don't like work. I don't like the word work, <laughs> but you need to do what you need to do to move yourself forward. And we talked about that in the other podcast too, the other night. I think another big piece of it too, is that at least for me, I mean, I tried and failed so many times that it felt I was fear. I was fearful of actually putting real effort into it because then there would just be one more failure, like staring me in the face. So you had to take that leap of faith and be like, I'm going to do it. That's what that's what got me where I am today. I literally was telling myself, I'm going to do it this time. I am done and it's time for me. I don't know what it is that I'm, I have to do, but I'm going to find out and I'm going to do it. I'm going to reach inside. I'm going to pray. I'm going to do the work. I'm going to figure out how I can live my life without drugs and alcohol. And who you surround yourself with too is huge. Is a- Big, big deal. Yeah, but they're my friends, man. I've, no, they're not. Oh, dude, you only get one life, man. Mm-hmm. And it's I've no, I've known people who had to walk away from family members. Yeah, you know and that's your family, but hey, it's your life. Mm-hmm. You know, if those people aren't good, what is what's the saying? If you're not on my side, mine, what I say? Yeah, I say you're in, you're either on my side, by my side, or in my way. There you go. Mm -hmm. And get those people that are by your side and on your side. And go with it, man. You don't need 100 million friends. Nobody needs to like you. That's what Facebook's for. You can just (laughs) have a million friends on Facebook and live whatever life. No matter what you say, somebody's going to say something back that's (sighs) not nice. I don't get that a lot. Well, I mean, I don't post very often at all, but... Oh. I just I just read stuff where people somebody will post something that's completely like not intentionally like mean or and then it just they it gets twisted mm-hmm. and then people are like writing back this awful stuff. Yeah, there are, yeah there are mean people on there, and yeah I guess every once in a while there was this girl that went to treatment maybe a month or so ago and. She put on there, all right, bye. And then, like, some somebody wrote on there, yeah, you're not going there to get help. You're going there because there's D there. But he used the word with, it has D, and then it's ick. Mm. And I was like, what an ass, man. Like he's That shouldn't have even made it there. Yeah, it was, it was pretty bad. Wow. Sorry, I got Skywood placement calling me, and I'm like, hmm, <laughs> should we answer that on the podcast, or should we wrap up the podcast and see if somebody needs a ride? I don't really know. You can come back. See? All hours of the night. Uh, I'm telling you. 944. 217 recovery <laughs> does not close. Never. But... No, uh, we probably should wrap it up. We have a lot to do still we have tonight. A lot to do. And come see us though. We'll be out there in Paw Paw this Saturday. Actually, we're going to be probably hitting the town because I told Jewel that we wanted to come down last year. I told like, hey, we're going to come down the day before, and I want you to take us out on the town, mm-hmm. and we can hit some meetings down there. I know we're going to have like a dinner. That would be fun though to hit some meetings and just tear it up sober recovery style. For sure, that'd be a good time. But yeah. so if you're in the area, Paw Paw, Kalamazoo, you want to hit a meeting tomorrow, look for us. And definitely come see us when you get there. Cause like I said, we've been giving some stuff away, some shirts. We got the name tag for you. Um, and I really want you to help us too. And I'll tell you exactly what I'm talking about when you come see us. But okay. there's something you can do. And not just for us, for the whole recovery community. There's yep. something that you can do, and it, it'll make a difference. It really will. And that's what I want every single person to do. And I will go out and talk to every single person there and request it of them. I believe you And recovery will. people will do it. Yeah. Because like, it's, it's a thing. Like I take it very personal. I know. And it's just very personal. You know, like 
when people in recovery aren't treated right or we're not given the same kind of do or respect as, as other people because what we used to be addicted to something that is put on TV, something that's, you know, passed down through family sometimes like, nah, like, that's just, that's just not right. So anyway, come see us. Cause I can do a whole podcast just about that alone right now. And we're trying to wrap it up. So. Yeah. But you can, we can go over it after or maybe the day of maybe Saturday. Oh, oh I'm sure we will. We're doing a lot of live broadcasting there. And, if you have Spreaker, I think it'll tell you that we're live. Otherwise, I think it, I'm not sure what happens, to tell you the truth. Okay. So we'll figure that out, too. All righty. <laughs> Thanks for listening, and we'll see you Saturday. Can't Thanks wait. everybody. See ya. Oh, details on that, dailyrecoveryzone.com or 217recovery.com slash events. But watch my video. It's on the app. Thanks for listening to another episode of the 217 Recovery Podcast. Listen on the 217 Recovery app. Download the app and rate us in your app store.